So today I'm talking about a P0208 code, what it is and how you could go about fixing it. And so what is a P0208 code? Well, it's an ejector circuit open cylinder eight. And so what does this mean? Well, basically each cylinder on the engine is going to have a fuel injector that's just injecting fuel into that cylinder. But when you get this P0208 code, the computer's seeing a problem with one of these fuel injectors, mainly the fuel injector on cylinder number eight. If you were to get like a P0201, that'd be cylinder number one. P0202, that'd be cylinder number two. So this P0208 is pointing to that number eight cylinder. So if you Google your engine, like cylinder location or firing order or something along those lines, and you find out which cylinder is cylinder number eight, since there is differences between engines, then that's going to be the cylinder that's having the problem. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0208 code? Well, the main things that's going to cause this is either there's a bad fuel injector on cylinder number eight, or there's some kind of wiring issue going to it. And so there's going to be some different ways to go about troubleshooting this. And the first thing I would do is I'd go test that fuel injector on cylinder number eight and be sure that's good. If you have a multimeter, you can go and test it. And basically what's going on with these fuel injectors is that they have a small coil built into them. And when power goes to it, it's going to energize and it's going to pull up on a small magnet which is going to let fuel go into that cylinder. So you can use a multimeter and use ohms to check that coil that's built into them. And basically to do this, you look up what the rated ohms is for that fuel injector, since there is differences. And then you set your meter to ohms and you check to see if it falls inside that range. And if it doesn't, if it goes outside of that, or if it's open, you're not getting no reading, then you know that fuel injector is bad. Sometimes it can be kind of hard to find out what the rated ohms is for those fuel injectors. So if you can't find that information, you can check a known good fuel injector and then see if the suspected bad one falls inside the same range. For example, if you know cylinder seven is good, you could check cylinder seven using ohms, see what the ohms are, and then go check cylinder eight and see if it falls inside the same range. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad fuel injector on cylinder number eight. The next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring issue going to cylinder number eight. If there's any kind of open, short, blowing fuse, anything like this, then that's gonna cause problems. So it is a good idea to go check any injector related fuses and be sure no fuses are bad. Although usually if you have a bad fuse, it's going to affect other cylinders. You'll be getting other codes. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. But keep in mind that a bad fuse could cause problems. And it's always a good idea to go and get wiring diagrams and schematics for your particular vehicle. That way you know for sure what's going on with it. But basically what's usually going on with this fuel injector wiring is that you're going to have two wires going to it. One wire is always going to have voltage going to it when the key's in the on position. So for example, right here, this red wire always has voltage going to it, usually 12 volts, as soon as the key goes into the on position. So you can use like a test light or a multimeter. You can go from the negative side of the battery and check to see if you're getting voltage going to that circuit when the key's in the on position. If you're not getting voltage to it, you know there's some kind of issue going on right there. The other wire is the ground wire, which is the wire the computer uses to control the circuit. The computer usually uses the ground side and pulses it at the right time to send voltage to that injector. So if you start up the engine, you go from the positive side of the battery to that negative side of the circuit. It should get voltage going to it. You can check and be sure that that ground is good. If you're using like a 12 volt test light, when the engine's running, you should see like a small little pulse inside of there because that's a signal the computer sent it to that injector to open. So there'll be a little tiny pulse inside of here. And if you see that pulse, that usually means it's working. There is what's called noid lights, which are real low cost little lights that people use to test the injector circuit because if they can see a pulse, they know that it's working. You can use those 12 volt test lights, but sometimes it can be kind of hard to see that pulse inside of there so that it's easier to see. People use these low cost noid lights, which basically make it easier to see that pulse. I made a video about all this, how you go about testing the injector circuit and everything like this. I'll put a link down below if you want to check that out. I'll put a link down below to one of these NOI lights if you want to check those out. But that's basically how you go about testing the injector circuit. Because the main things that could cause this is a bad fuel injector on cylinder number eight, or there's some kind of wiring issue going to it. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0208 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me, I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.